Before we start, make sure to stand till the end. We'll share about common mistake people make. And if you make that mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repair or having the engine replaced. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a dot Challenger. If you have one of those and uh, you have a problem where on the dash you get a message such as uh, service stability control, electronic stability control or uh, electronic control, uh, uh, control body. Stay with us guys. We're going to talk about that, what can easily cause that and one simple mistake people make sometimes that can actually uh, cost you hundreds, thousands of dollars and even the engine replaced. All that will be covered in this video today. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh, and in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Challenger or any car, you want to save quite a bit of money, get them at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's start on it now. So right here guys okay let me get the camera quick i want to uh, uh show you okay the lights electronic throttle control sometimes you can get and also electronic stability control uh, let me just get inside car has been a little bit of an accident here so uh but that's not the cause for the okay uh for the codes let me see if i can uh go ahead okay turn the ignition on and we can get to the messages and that way you will probably be able to see okay you can see you have the light flashing there on top okay that light uh, right there is very very uh, important service electronic stability control right there and often you will get another one service electronic throttle control right there service electronic throttle control so uh, now what you can uh, do about that guys okay uh, you can use scanner hook it up and see the codes okay that will be number one thing that uh how do so the obd port is okay right here on the bottom i know where it is one second just to turn the camera light on perfect plugged in now we're going to turn the ignition switch on without starting the car it needs to go to the run position right here okay if i turn the light on you see it's on the run lights are on perfect now right here you select uh, that's actually by the way that scanner guys many of you request information it's one of the best scanners on the market for that price it works on almost any car you can think of it's amazing too that can pay itself off practically in one time use guys so uh, i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price features and all that stuff we'll click vin auto detect it's going to decode the number now okay it's a Chrysler USA. As you know, like Chrysler 300 is the same as one chair Teta in Europe, so that's why they share the same platform Chrysler uh, 300 and Dot Charger as well. Uh, and Dot Charger and Challenger, they're built practically on the same platform as well. So, engines, everything's the same. We're going to go ahead, connect now. It's working on it, and uh, we're going to select okay, the vehicle right here and ours is challenger we will go next to make sure your car battery is charged if it's not it, uh, that can actually affect the diagnostics as well i always recommend to hook a battery charger and make sure you keep it over 12 and a half volts when you're doing diagnostics especially for programming and things like that because if you don't guys okay it will uh, uh you may get the wrong diagnostic information we click diagnostics control unit powertrain here we select engine control module and here okay we can read the codes we have multiple codes because we had a few wires disconnected earlier when we worked on it uh, but right here guys we have throttle position sensors we have three codes that relate to the throttle body p0123 throttle position sensor one throttle position sensor two that's called p0222 and called p2111 electronic throttle control system and if we go back you can actually check under uh, let me see was it body or chassis anti-locking brakes okay right there read codes that's for the traction control let's see if there is something there 
right there, impossible data received from PCM, there is no communication with uh, the traction control and ABS computer does not have communication with the engine computer so circuit, circuit short voltage okay so uh, what most of the times causes these codes now let's uh, let's just talk about that so i'm going to go ahead get outside and uh, show you if you come right here whether you have a v6 v8 engine it works either way but this uh, device is known as a throttle body here guys we're going to remove the upper engine cover okay and that throttle body is uh, usually okay let me remove that here is mounted right here on the intake manifold like that okay and that throttle body is connected with a wire right there so the purpose of the throttle body is like when you press the accelerator pedal it has a sensor that detects how many percent you press that throttle pedal and it will open the throttle body so the motor will activate and open it to a certain degree so the engine can get air and the engine computer will say okay we well gave it gas we're getting more air now we need to spray more fuel and the engine will produce power but if that throttle body is malfunctioning it's bad or the wire is disconnected that can easily cause that cold uh, 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 that uh, light right there uh, when you disconnect that light if it, uh, that uh, wiring harness if it's not connected what can uh, easily happen guys uh, the traction control loses communication as well because it's a consecutive wire okay for torque control and all that stuff so uh, the wires for the traction control and ABS are connected with the throttle body wire so make sure the connector is pushed in when you push it in make sure that the red thing is locked in place so it doesn't fall out uh, inspect that all the wires are pushed all the way in because if one of those is yanked out and people will often grab and pull for the wires to disconnect it and that can pull the wires out so that's quite common reason as well and if that doesn't fix it it could be a bad throttle body and when you replace it too common three mistakes people make actually this is plastic manifold intake manifold and if you guys are not careful and over tighten the screws that can damage the threads and you need to replace upper intake manifold which is quite expensive uh, and you need to replace that gasket it's recommended every time you remove it and number three make sure you do not drop a tool or a socket screw anything inside and never turn the car on or turn the starter on because it can suck something in and that will destroy your engine guys so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you need any help with that thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time